So what's the Grape Explorer talking about today? Well, we are going to be talking about our Bordeaux Grand Cru series. And basically what this is, is we identify a wine every week that we talk about. And I bring you up to date with what's going on in, in these wines. And usually, um, and we're going to say 100% of the time, it's going to be Grand Cru Class A wines. So today we're going to be talking about Quasi Bage. Might not be a wine that's on a lot of people's radar. This is actually a fifth growth. What does that mean, fifth growth? Because we talk about uh, Grand Cru classification. Everybody knows Lafitte and Mouton and Margot and Aubryon and all these great, great, great wines. So in 1855, they did a classification at the Paris uh, exhibition. And what happened was everybody from Chateaus were allowed to send samples of their bottles to a panel or a committee. Now, remember now, this is 1855, to decide who is the best wines in Bordeaux. And they broke it down into a five category system. This was all for left bank wines. So Saint-Emilion and Pomerol were not included in this uh, classification. So um, the classification system was based on a lot of different variables. Obviously wine, what the wines were fetching for as far as price. The other thing that was considered also was terroir in their, if you wanna say where they're located in their proximity to the other great chateaus. So Quasi Baj is an interesting property. Historically, it was owned by the Quasi family. There were two brothers that actually started this property. Uh, but this wine or this property, as we say, which is located in Poyac. So we locate, we brought out a transit map here so you can actually see uh, Poyac, which is the River Gironde here. And Poyac, right here, sandwiched between Saint-Julien and saint Estephe, is considered to be what a lot of Bordeaux uh, experts feel are the best wines in all of the left bank of Medoc. And why are they, why are they considered to be the best wines? Well, there's, there's a number of reasons. Obviously, you've got three wines now that are first growth. So you've got Lafitte, Mouton, and Latour. Then you've got a lot of second growths. You've got Pichon Baron, Pichon Lelon, who are duking it out every year for you know, what they what they call the battle of the titans and the second growth. But then we jump all the way down to fifth growth. And a lot of interesting things happen. Uh, Chateau lynch a fifth growth, all of a sudden started to get a claim in the United States. And they were going for, you know, anywhere between 100. Then they jumped to 200. Then, you know, it, it just kept going on and on. That's a fifth growth. Ponte Canet, same exact thing. They were fifth growth property at the time of the 1855 classification. So now Pichon, um, you know, there are also, those wines are going for 250, 300, Ponte Canet, $300 a bottle. But um, I'm always looking for, okay, what flies under the radar? So being in Bordeaux for the last 30 years tasting wines, I always tasted these people's wines, Quasi Bage, and I thought, you know, the wines are okay. They're all right, you know. They don't, they don't, they don't set me uh, on another planet, you know. So I always kind of like looked at them as the underachiever. Well, I'll tell you what. So this is owned by the Cui family, and the Cui family is very interesting. They said, you know, we're going to start really up in our game. We're going to try to make as really best wines that we can. So now this is 2019 Quasi Bage. I think this is the finest wine that they've ever made. And I've been uh, on the advisory board of, um, if we call it, Bordeaux Investment Companies. And I feel that some of these wines you have to pay attention to because they could all of a sudden jump. These are wines that can be had for under $50 a bottle. And they're Pauillac. So what does that mean? Well, you get all the classic scents of Pauillac, but they're on what they call the Bage Plateau. Not too far from uh, Lynch Bage. You're, you're right next door to Lynch Bage. You've got Aubage Liberal. You've got great wines, Clark Milon, and we bring our book right here, uh, Ferret's book, which is one of the finest books ever written. You can see right here, they're on the same level as Clark Milon. Uh, we're talking about wines in the same proximity. You get all that classic sense of, of lead pencil, beautiful, beautiful quality wines that you can actually enjoy and drink. Mmm. A lot of beautiful minerality expression on this wine. You get that power of Poyac that comes at you. But you know something? You don't have to spend two or three hundred dollars for a bottle of this wine. Again, this is flying under the radar at fifty dollars a bottle. So yes, we have included it in our Bordeaux series because we think you should pay attention to wines like this. Again, this is the Grape Explorer talking about Bordeaux, talking about grapes, 
and talking about wine.